guys and welcome back to the journey of self i am your intuitive tarot reader as well as your host brandy and this is the journey okay so first order of business this is going to be the pisces love reading for june the spread that i'll be using is a custom spread next move best move okay now next order of business you guys can book your personal readings at thejourneyofself.org. That is my website. Okay, stay stay tuned, stay and keep your eyes peeled is what I want to say, but not altogether. Stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled for the Journey of Self jewelry collection that will be dropping in July. It is a collection that is made by myself as well as family members. It is fashion as well as spiritual. There's also the Journey Home collection that will also be dropping at the same time. Okay, same thing, made by myself as well as family members. It is fashion as well as spiritual. Okay, I was going to say as well as jewelry. Just said that, not the same thing. Anyway, so, all right, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's do this. The first position in this spread is how they see themselves. Okay. If you guys are looking for May readings, don't look. They're not there. They won't be there. I didn't do any May readings. It was a resting period. You could even call it a gestation period. Manifesting one of the biggest things I've ever manifested in my life. Therefore, I needed all my energy. I even tried to do some readings because I, that's how I am. Like, I care for others. But it just became extremely clear that it wasn't appropriate. So I, I couldn't um, I couldn't release the, the readings. Spirit was just like, no. We said, sit down, have a seat, two seats in the seat belt. And I was just like, but they didn't. And they were like, no, you need you. Sit down. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so let's get started. How does this person see themselves in this relationship? How does this person see you in this relationship? This person sees you as yourself, um, word of sign, giving, in tune with your, with your feelings, very intuitive. You guys may know something that you're not speaking of, or you guys may actually dare I say, in a third party situation. I feel like some of you may know and you are trying to get closer to nature. Some of you are overindulging and others are just listening to music, trying to heal themselves. I feel like this person has choices and they're not making a decision. They're just sampling the choices. Let's put it that way. They're just sampling the choices. And this person knows what they're doing. Um, they're not really confused. They're enjoying themselves as far as I'm concerned. I feel like some of you have been waiting for someone to tell you this. But they're not going to, I don't think they're going to let you know. Or they have already let you know. Um... Maybe you all I don't know. For some reason you guys feel like this person is your match. I feel like some of you are sticking around because you feel like this person is for you, like you guys are meant to be. Maybe there is some type of connection, some deeper connection between the two of you, and maybe you are aware of this. But honey, I'm gonna have to say maybe the other person not so much. These are the two cards on their side. This is what came up as the, the way they see themselves. We have the three of cups, which talks about reminiscing in the past. This person may live in the past. And we, we also have the seven of cups, which talks about choices, but only one of them, obviously, in the seven of cups, only one of the choices is correct. If you look in the background of the seven of cups, you see a man speaking to a woman. I feel like some of you are waiting to be told exactly how much you mean to this person or that you are the only one. And I don't think that that message is coming. 
feel like you guys are looking off into the distance. Like I said, some of you are overindulging with alcohol, others, or maybe just partying in general, trying to keep yourself distracted um, with anything, honestly. And uh, cause I'm not really feeling a, a strong, necessarily addictive type of, of feeling coming from this. It's just more or less like trying to distract yourselves. Some of you may be listening to music. How does this person see you? Now we know that when you see the high priestess along with the three of cups, there's a good chance that this talks of a third party situation and there being another, another party. You may even be the other person, the outside person. Okay, now look, in this particular uh, King of Cups, you guys don't lose your temper. Don't lose your temper, all right? He has a rock in one hand and a cup in another. Don't lose your temper. This person is not necessarily worth it. I feel like this person may also target people who are well-to-do. Yeah, I just said target. This person knows exactly what they're doing. I feel like there is a chance of you guys finding a new passion, but you're but you are confused. You're stuck. I feel like you guys are are stuck. You guys need to heal from this situation, and I feel like love is coming. I feel like love is coming. Okay. This person may actually communicate, actually. Now that I have these cards that have just come out, I have the Ace of the Ace of Wands. Oh, excuse me. I always call this the Ace of Wands because the fire talks about passion. But this is the Ace of Swords in this deck, okay? Um, let's check it out. As a matter of fact, I take back what I said. This person is going to communicate, okay? And this conversation is going to intensify in reference to them not being interested. I don't think that they're interested. Uh, let's see. You, on the other hand, I feel like you guys will cut them off and continue to be stable in yourself. The King of Pentacles has shown up for you. And I feel like if you guys allow healing to come in, you guys can transform from this experience. Okay. I do have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands in this particular deck speaks of transformation. Coming from the belly of the beast and transforming, spreading your wings. I feel like you guys don't have, you don't have to worry about your stability. I feel like you will continue to be stable. I feel like the reason why this person picked you was because you were stable. Remember that. The best revenge is to just do well, right? The best way to show someone that you're worth it is to be worthy, is to believe it in yourself, move on and act that way. You don't deserve this. Nobody does. Let me go ahead and clarify a little bit. I feel like you guys are going to cut this person off. Um, there's a possibility that there could be an air sign or an earth sign, you know, entering into your life. Okay. Let me get some clarification on a few things and then we'll, we'll talk more. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Oh, there's a bunch of things I want to clarify. So why is this Ace of Swords here? Okay. I feel like it's so crazy because now it's the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person, oh, they're rude. This person might say to you, it was what it was. It was nothing more than that. You're going to be like shocked. Like, what are you talking about? Or it could piss you off to the point where you 
cut them off and cut them off for good. Yeah, you guys know about this situation and you've been stuck trying to make a choice. You've been trying to make a choice. You haven't been listening to your intuition. So you guys are, are aware. You're not unaware of the situation. That's why the high priestess is present. Okay. You're stuck because you know you could do better, okay? You're stuck because you know you could do better. You know this is not what you deserve. And you know you have the tools to move on. So I ask you guys, what does this person have that's making you stick around? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna show you guys this picture. Let's just say there's big passion involved in this situation. Like you've been ignoring some red flags. That's okay. We've all been there, done that. We've all been there, done that. Wanted to be something, hoping that it'll be that. Maybe I was just wrong. The information will come in that the person is not interested in the offer. Okay. Don't don't let it conflict you. Don't let this lead to conflict. It's nothing to argue about. It's nothing to argue about. It's not working out. This person is not looking to give you what you want. If you guys go ahead and go through the transformation, there is new love coming. It could possibly be with another water sign or an Aquarius. You guys can get your wish fulfilled. The energy is there for that to actually happen in your life. You guys just need to work hard on whatever it is that you're doing because I feel like you guys are building something all your own anyway. And if you continue to do that, everything's going to be okay. Just get one more clarification card. Yeah, you guys are, haven't really been focusing on yourselves. You guys need to focus on yourself. You guys need to focus on yourself and focus on what it is that you're trying to build. Like I said, there is another sign um, coming in. I do believe it is a water sign or a air sign, possibly an Aquarius, Aquarius, excuse me, an Aquarius, because I want to say that as well as Pisces, another Pisces, or you could be offering your cup to an Aquarius. As I said before, I do believe that there could be an earth sign involved as well. This person that I think that you're connecting with, I feel like this person is, um, is probably a fire sign or has fire in their chart. And I want to say also that they're flighty. That's what they're going to communicate to you. That's what you're going to realize, that this person is flighty in their own mind. Yeah, your best move is to say what you have to say. I don't even know how to. I'm trying to put these cards down in the right order. I feel like your best move is to say what you have to say. Communicate. It's going to it's going to help you help you heal. Communicate exactly how you feel. All right. Don't be ashamed of your feelings. Especially when someone's had like fake, you know, narcissistic or sinister feelings. Don't don't feel ashamed for having real heartfelt feelings. I mean, that's usually the intention when two people get together. If that's not what it is, then the other person's probably like being devious or or lying. You know what I mean? Because a person who cares sees you catching feelings and they usually back off or they usually tell you exactly what it is. Maybe this person has been communicating that the whole time. Not really sure. However it goes, you have feelings at this point. They don't. They're probably going to communicate this. Don't let it come into an argument. Don't let it be... Don't let it be, you know, so like ridiculous, but say how you feel. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Okay. You guys are headed to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You guys have to make a decision. Make a decision to walk away. This decision is going to renew your life. You guys have a great amount of abundance in your life, but you're going to need, you're going to need to um, move slow and steady toward it. You have to acknowledge that abundance in yourself um, through your work and through your life path. You guys are going to find fulfillment. All right. And that is probably going to help you um, ignite your love, 
your you, you know ignite the love in your in your love house okay or you know it's going to help you as well with your heart chakra okay you guys need to experience a little bit more of self contentment and a little bit more abundance within yourself in order to be ready for this relationship that's trying to come in which is going to be much more wholesome and much more fulfilling okay but you're going to probably do that through your craft or through your life path all right, you guys are going to have to um, simply accept that, you know, this person was trying to get away with something. And that's okay. I mean, listen, you're not, you're not at fault when people try you. You are the gatekeeper. All types of people are going to show up at the gate. It's up to you. You're like the bouncer in your life, Okay. It's nothing to, you know, the bouncer doesn't take it personal when troublemakers show up at the club. No. They're like, look, troublemaker, you got to go. Okay. It's just my job to let you know you got to go. All right. Don't want a trouble, man. Just want you to know you got to go. So that's basically what's going on here. Don't feel guilty because you let this, you know, this person into your life. The betrayal that you felt from this person, this is it. This, this is, it can't get any worse. Okay. It can't get any worse. And if you give it time, you will find your emotional fulfillment that you're looking for. You are on a you are on an advantage ground. See, the reason why this person couldn't feel is because maybe they're not ready. They don't have it in them. They don't have the tools necessary to feel that way. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's pull some Doreen Virtual. Romance Angel Cards. Let's pull one for their side. Yep, boom. Look, this is what this is what happens. Let me let me explain something to you guys. When you get cards and they're like, that doesn't make sense. This person's a liar. Why would they give this? You're right. You're right. That's exactly what it is. It doesn't make sense. This person is a liar. This person is a cheat. The card from spirit says, give your relationship a chance. This person is not listening to spirit. They're not intuitive. They're not, they're not listening to their intuition. They don't care. They're just doing very base, very, you know, uh, how can I explain? Just very self-serving actions. Your two cards in reference to the situation, very clear. That's exactly what I said. Okay, it says release your ex. It says release your ex. And it also says calling in your soulmate, okay? There's something better, trust me. It says you're calling in your soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That's why you guys have to start feeling abundant within yourself because like things attract. You're going to attract better when you feel better. Drop this zero and wait and fantasize and visualize and affirm and pray for your hero. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This person is holding you down because their energy is nasty. Quite honestly, the energy nasty, okay? They nasty. Move on with your life. All right, so the three cards that I pulled for you. Oh, exactly what we just talked about. Okay, now remember we talked about feeling abundant within yourself and attracting that. Well, one of the one of the best ways to um, start that abundance in yourself is not to go and acquire new things, new life paths, and things like. No, no, no. Let's start at the basics. The basics is gratitude. Looking around your life and finding things to be grateful for. Okay, it says life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. You guys are not alone, okay? We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, your friends, and your guides. You never, you never walk alone. 
We walk right beside you. And the last card that we have here is find your center. It says your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes hectic and stressful, that you're, in, excuse me, let's start again, okay? <laughs> it says find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is the ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Okay, guys. All right. Now, I hear it. I hear you guys. You guys want to know when, but when? Okay. If you guys do the work, if you guys do the work, let's say spirit, they do the work. They affirm, visualize, center, and be grateful. How long can it take for them to attract or get a sign at least that their soulmate is on the way or that this relationship, this fulfilling relationship is on its way? Let's see what spirit has to say about this time. It may give me an answer. It may not. This is... This is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So Spirit had something to say. Let go. All right. Stop worrying about when, how, where, why. Okay. Improve your health and especially your heart chakra. Okay. And guys have to learn to forgive. Forgive yourself as well as others. You have to have unconditional love for yourself as well as others. People hurt because they're hurting, generally. People hurt because they don't have the tools to make happy. Okay, these are different reasons why people hurt. People hurt because they're not meant to be. You thought it was something it wasn't. So they're not even really trying to hurt you. You're just confused. In this situation, you guys may have been dealing with a bad apple. Don't let the apple spoil the whole bunch. Move on with your life. Spirit has already told you that if you move on with your life in gratitude, if you visualize, if you, if you affirm, and if you pray, you can actually get what it is that you're looking for as far as love. Now, listen, guys, I have Pisces friends. I know you guys love deeply. I know you guys give all of yourselves. So I do feel bad when you guys get these readings because you put yourself out there and someone has taken advantage. But I feel like in a way, that's part of the Pisces, the Pisces, you know, um, you guys are so strong. You keep doing it over and over again. I feel like that's part of the Pisces way like, I'm shocked at times at how some of my Pisces friends, they're really high vibrating as well, but how they can um, get hurt and then move on. Like, not like it didn't happen. They learn their lessons, don't get me wrong, along the way. But they move on, like, full speed. And they're not going to cheat someone else because someone else cheated them. That takes strength, man. That takes strength. Because a lot of people don't do that. That's why they're running around hurting people, because they got hurt one time in sixth grade. And so now they hate everybody. And they're like, 40. Just saying, my own personal stuff, you know, that I've seen, observed in life. Just saying. That's all. Um, yeah, I think this reading is pretty much over. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, Pisces, this has been your reading. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.